certainly a lot of different creatures taking shelter here in the Subnivium. And I'm keeping track of them right here on the screen. Hold on, I'm picking up something on the surface. Wait, what's that? Uh, snow? No, beneath the snow. I hear food. Oh, yeah, I like food. Psst, Basil, hold up. He's got a pair of wolves straight above you. Wolves? Oh, oh, I stuck myself with my own quill. Oh, we porcupines do that sometimes when we're... Ow, startled. Tweak, can you distract the wolves? I've got a hurt porcupine to care for. One distraction coming right up. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here to help. Now hold still. Ah, yeah. oh, much better. Thank you, Peso. You're welcome. Oh, come on, there's more food this way. Shh, wolves. We may not be able to get out, but they can certainly claw their way in here if they hear us. Phew, they're gone. Oh, no, they're not. Do your worst, wolves. You're going to have to get to me first. Peso? That's right. Priscilla guided me here through the tunnels in the Subnivium. Sorry to scare you. Oh, oh no! Uh, What's uh, that? Looks like the wolves heard you burst through the snow. Tweak, we found Parney. Now, could you possibly distract those wolves again? Only got two fish biscuits left. <gasps> I can use Dashie's wonder cam to steer the wolves away. Now, oh, come on. There's more food under here. Oh, the other food was a lot less work. Well, it's not like more food will just come flying our way. Huh? Huh? Hey. Huh? hey, look. More food just came flying our way. Food. Food. Uh, food. But what about the... Uh, oh, never mind. Give me that food. <sighs> <sighs> Tweak did it. The wolves are gone. And it looks like they've done our work for us. Allow me. Oh, me, oh, my. A little warning next time. It's much more fun this way. Isn't that right, Gus? Gus? Oh, finally. Food. Oh, I'll finish this mission later. Hello. Are you a reindeer? No, no, no. I'm an elk. My name is Elton. My name's Pinto. Your antlers are impressive, Elton. Are they strong? Strong enough to defend myself. Here, test them out. <coughs> oh no, we're on top of an underground sulfur spring. Smelly. Mm, and extremely hot. We must be very careful. If the ground breaks, we could fall in and get burned. Pinto, there you are. Dashi, Bernie, be careful. What's that smell? Oh, it's sulfur. And this is a sulfur spring. Like a geyser, it's heated by the hot rocks below. And the sulfur also makes the water acidic. What? See? Absolutely splashy. And dangerous. A good point. We need to get out of here, Pinto. But we have to help Dashi and Pani. Can you get us up there? Of course I can. Oh, but what now? Focus, Pinto. Focus. The ropes. Don't mind if I tie these to your strong antlers. Not at all. Back up and pull when I give you the signal, okay? I'm at the ready. Dashi! Barney! Pinto! What are you doing up there? We're saving you! Grab the rope! Got it! Got it. All right, Elton. Act 
to rate and close. Easy now. That's it. You made it. Splashing. Cool. <laughs> Splendid. Thank you, Pinto. And thank you, uh, Elton, was it? That's my name. At your service. Thank you, Elton. And Pinto, oh, that was some quick thinking. Without your help, Dashi and I would have been in hot water. Stinky, burning hot water. Even stinkier than that bombardier beetle. I'm just glad you're both safe. But now, we've got to get you home. I'm getting hungry. Just wait. It's almost mealtime. Let's see. There's plants over in this direction, so maybe... Aha! You've been jumping off the wrong side of the cliff, little one. And there's your mama. Oh, dear. More ravens. <gasps> no, wait! <sighs> you can take a break now. I got it from here. Not if I can help it. <sighs> Mind if I swing by? <laughs> <laughs> I got Oh, no, you don't. Woo! Over here, buddy. <laughs> Let you go, you two. Never more. We're hungry. Hungry, eh? Tell you what, I do have this fish biscuit. It's quite yummy. Mm -hmm. Say, that is yummy. Hey, what about me? Here you go. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> gotcha. Mm, that was delicious. Thanks, fella. You're welcome. Mama! Not yet. But it looks like she still has raven trouble of her own. Hang on tight and leave everything to your Uncle Pani. <laughs> Slalom! <laughs> Table top! <laughs> Don't even think about it. <laughs> Huh? You there! Leave those geese alone! Mama! My baby! I was so worried! We were looking everywhere for you. But those pesky ravens kept getting in the way. If you don't mind my saying, you might have had better luck looking on the other side of that cliff. <laughs> Mama! Oh. Oh. Huh. Well, I'd say that was well worth all the climbing I've done today. Thank you so much for bringing my little gosling back to me. Think nothing of it, Mama Goose. I'm an octo agent. It's what we do. Well, so long. Enjoy your dinner. Uncle Pony! Oh, I'm going to miss you too, my little rock climbing buddy. Bye! <laughs> Made it. Oh, it should be safe. Hey, sir, Pony, it looks like the flood and the lava won't reach your position on the mountain. Everyone is officially safe. Peso, sure is nice to see you again. You too, Barney. Has everybody in the herd arrived safe and sound? Definitely. Oh, wait, where's Stefan? Stefan? Stefan! Where'd he go? Dashi, we've got a missing reindeer. Stefan! Stefan! Oh, uh, uh, I see him. He's at the top of that ridge. Oh, yes. I'll be able to get a good view of the action from up here. Stefan! Oh, Dad, you've got to see this. It looks so cool. <laughs> Stefan! Oh, oh, my leg! Hey, so, Pani, Stefan is stuck at the bottom of the ravine, and flood water is starting to fill it up. Oh no, his leg is trapped under some ropes. I must have some rope in here somewhere. Maybe I can get him with the octograpper. Close enough. Whatever you do, you need to do it fast. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going in. And I'm coming with you. Activating 
Octarite Hover Mode. Thank you. Hot lava is going to pour into this ravine any moment now. We'll be in hot water if we don't hurry. We've got you. Grab on. <laughs> We're ready to come up. All right, everybody, on the count of three. One, two, three. Pull! <laughs> Farm. Dad! Oh, thank goodness you are all right. <sighs> Papa, I'm cold. Me too. Same here. Ah, it's not your fault, little ones. Come, come. I've got warm Arctic fur. <sighs> okay, okay, you as well. You know, you're not such a bad guy after all for an arctic fox. Eh, uh, nor you for a red fox. Clearly, you are good, good papa. Oh! No! You can fix that, right? Oh. Captain, it's getting harder to see through this snowstorm. And between the darkness and the storm, it'll be nearly impossible to find Professor Natquit's den. Then we'll have to use the Octoray's heat scanner. If it can help find water flowing under the Antarctic ice, it can certainly help us find a few foxes. By tracking their body heat. Brilliant. Scanning now. I'm getting a faint heat signature, Captain. Straight ahead of you. We've arrived! We'll have to be very careful where we dig so we don't go right through the den. Then we'll have to take it nice and slow. <laughs> Professor Natquick, hello. <laughs> it's a polar bear, run! <laughs> No, no! This is Captain Barnacles! He is a friend! Uh, oh, so, uh, <clears throat> he's not gonna eat us. <laughs> no, I'm an octonaut. I'm here to rescue you. Yay! <sighs> We've restocked your food supplies. You're stocked up for the winter and beyond, Professor. Ah, good, good. Thank you, my friends. And I hope you will enjoy every bite. You... you going someplace? Yes, yes. Back to my station in Antarctica. No! Come back quick. He don't want you to go. You and your family can stay here as long as you like. And I promise I will be back to visit soon. Um, look. Um, I want to apologize for messing up your books and, uh, eating all your food and breaking your chair. Like you said, it's instinct. But uh, I promise I'll take better care of the place from now on. I'm sure you will do fine for a red fox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Faithy. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. 